Welcome back to my channel. What's worse than have been a whole Saturday where you clean, but yet your house still doesn't really smell perfect? Stay tuned and I'll let you know some tips on how to do that. All right, my tips today are gonna be stuff that you can use without aerosols that can actually hurt your lungs and the environment, stuff that doesn't hurt the bank, and also not candles. Now, I'm a southern woman, I like my candles. But sometimes you don't, <laughs> you kind of worry if you're gonna like leave them lit if you go to bed, go to the store. If you're new here, I am Jessica C. I am here to show you how to help your home stay clean and organized without breaking your back, your budget, or the clock. So if you like some videos like that, like and subscribe below, leave me a comment, let me know anything else you would like to see. But let's dive in and get started. Come clean with me, Jessica C. Alright, the first one I'm going to show you is you actually put some pine salt or whatever you use to clean your floor with. If you see my last video, Dawn. <laughs> but I don't think this would actually apply to Dawn. So if you actually have some mop floor cleaner, this applies to that. So I'm going to show you what to do, okay? So I have this. Don't hate. It's budget friendly and it smells great. Open your bowl up. And you want to pour some in here. Now, some people may think, just eyeball it, nothing crazy. Some people may think that this is actually will be bad for your bowl or it would cause stains or anything um, to go wrong. But it's actually plumber approved, so this is good. It's budget friendly because obviously I use budget. <laughs> um, and actually every time you flush for the first few times, um, it's going to be really strong, but then after that it kind of dissipates a little bit. This lasts for about two days that I've, um, that I've seen, um, but it's only like one cap of this. So if you want to just kind of put this under the sink, it's not something that's used for like, that would make your bowl smell clean every day. Um, as you know, the water gets used, you know, this stuff's going to go away. Um, but if you have guests coming over for the night, this is definitely a great thing to use and it's cheap. All right, and while you're at it, in the bathroom, of course, you have your toilet bowl cleaner. Now, they make the um, disposable toilet bowl cleaners now, um, which I actually have as well, but this is the old faithful. <laughs> what you do is, again, get any mop floor blend that you like, actually, and just pour it into, I'll show you real quick. <laughs> all right you'll just pour just a little bit maybe a cap full at most or whatever <laughs> and then actually this deodorizes every time you clean the toilet this will last a little bit longer um, than you actually pouring it in the bowl so which is a good thing my little helper came <laughs> he wanted his jacket on um, it is not cold in my house, guys. Um, but you put that in there, it actually lasts a little while. Um, but when you do clean out your toilet blow cleaner, if that's something you do, this one is quite a very good one. It was like $40. This actually lasts a while, but when you do clean this out, um, which I hope you really do, because obviously this is going to have lots of germs in it, because it is the toilet bowl cleaner. Um, it will dissipate after a while, not as quick as the toilet bowl will that we just did but this will last maybe a week or two depending on how much you use it and when you clean this out all right who is tired of the bathroom stuff not me because we all need bathrooms that smell good so stay with me here i have a few more just for the bathroom alone okay small garbage bins you want a small garbage bin in your bathroom Yes, it may seem tedious because you have to empty it more, but think about it. The more you have to empty it, the less odors stay in the bathroom. Wow. I should be Einstein, I'm telling you. <laughs> I keep a small one anyway, um, and I do change mine out as, as soon as I clean the bathrooms, I automatically change out my trash. It's just part of the list. You know, you clean the bathroom, you get the trash out. But if you keep a bigger trash can in your bathroom, you won't empty it as much so obviously the smells of anything that goes in this thing it's gonna stay in your bathroom also 
get one that has a lid. Oh, and I'll, I'll wash this. I'm not just like playing with my bathroom trash because that's what I do on a daily basis. Um, get you one with a closed lid. This helps from kids or dogs getting into this, getting this mess. I've had Q-tips all over the floor. Um, it also keeps the smells, if there is any smells, it keeps them right inside. Another bathroom tip, keep the door open. I know it's gonna be hard and there's some moments when your husband or kids walk out, you just wanna close that door. <laughs> and for those moments, that may be okay. Just don't keep your bathroom door closed all the time because stale air is not good. It will keep older odors trapped in the bathroom. So keep the door open or open at the times you can. All right, last tip for the bathroom. You see these guys? A dollar at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. You can get these advanced auto, they're probably a lot more, but these are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I actually like, can you see that? I actually like how this one smells. You can obviously buy um, more expensive air fresheners for this, but I actually like this one. It's like, it smells kind of like a man's musk. I said man's musk. I'm learning how to talk today too, guys. Um, it actually smells like a man's cologne or something. I've always loved the smell of this. It's the black ice. Love it. So what you do is actually put this at the bottom of the bathroom trash can or on the side if you want to hang it, but I'll just put it at the bottom just so I don't have to deal with it. So it's like a constant air fresher. And I have noticed even with the top bathroom trash closers, it actually will still smell. So don't think just because you put it in there and it's gonna stay trapped, it's not gonna smell for your bathroom. It actually does a really good job, especially when it's strong. Like, I just opened it and almost choked, but I'm good. <laughs> These are a dollar, okay, a dollar. You put it in there, it actually lasts for a while. Um, I've had this in here for about a week and it's still going on strong. It's not as strong as it was day one, but um, it is still pretty strong. <laughs> Nothing crazy, um, but it actually does work, and it was a dollar. So it's something that's very easy, budget-friendly. You throw it in there, you don't even think about it. When you actually change the trash one day, you're like, oh wait, I don't really smell that anymore. You just take it out with the trash, fill it back up with another dollar brand. or And you can use the more expensive ones like the Febreze's or any of the other high dollar stuff. It just depends on what your budget is like, but dollar, and it works. I actually was surprised. I knew it would work for a little bit, but I thought with the top to be closed, open and closed, that would you would only smell it when it was open. But it actually <laughs> penetrates through somehow. I know the bottoms of these trash cans, even though the top may be closed, it has like some ventilation in it a little bit, or it's not as compacted and closed as the top is. So I guess that's how it gets out, but it actually does work, guys. All right, we're out of the bathroom now, guys. Aren't you so happy? I know I am. But honestly, it smells good in there, actually. So you know what? I might go take a bath later, get me a book. All right, in the comments below, let me know your favorite scent. Me, mm, I love a clean scent. I don't care about flowers or a cologne or musk or anything. I like clean smells, like freshly clean sheets or freshly clean towels love clean smells what's yours i want to know what everybody likes so put that below all right some more smell good easy budget friendly type things you can do to have your clean house smelling clean make sure you clean your trash cans a lot of people forget to me being one of them until i started doing the research a couple months ago for cleaning stuff um, it's actually a really good idea um, plus you know germs as well can build up obviously but you clean it up actually put some baking soda in the bottom it actually keeps odors away for a little while baking soda you know yourself you can get a box of it for like a dollar or less and sometimes it's even on sale for like two for two for a dollar even at like a local grocery store so it's definitely a must go to all right this is one i haven't actually used so if you use this after this video leave it in the comments let me know what you think I'm going to do it too, but I have, my home is nothing but tile or vinyl plank hardwood. So I legit only have carpet with like two rugs in my whole house. <laughs> it's 
So, <laughs> it's really hard for me to do this because I do not have a lot of carpet in my house. But if you do, please give this a try and let me know in the comments below. Or you can go to Instagram, at Mommy Randoms, all one word, and let me know what it is there, okay? But, pour disinfectant on your rugs. Yeah, sounds crazy. I mean, who would just spray Lysol on their rugs? But then again, it's COVID right now, so you might want to put Lysol a little bit everywhere, okay? <laughs> what you do is before you actually start vacuuming, spray some for about 10, 15 minutes before you actually vacuum. So you kind of let it sit for a little bit and then vacuum. And it actually is supposed to have the clean scent in your carpet for a while. And everybody knows carpet, rugs, anything like that, it holds on to odor. So this actually has the disinfectant and the clean kind of aroma so it's not so pungent are let's say as strong as like an aerosol spray right in your face this actually works also i read because normally like if you sprinkle baking soda on your carpet which is a good thing to do as well but if you sprinkle baking soda make sure you leave it for a few hours because it's supposed to absorb some of the wetness or moisture or any of the odors it's supposed to soak it up and then you vacuum it so if you do the baking soda trick probably sprinkle it Go grocery shopping or go to the park or something for two or three hours come back and then vacuum because obviously if you sprinkle it you're still walking all over it it's not really going to stay on your carpet <laughs> so you can only do that if you have somewhere to go for like two or three hours and then you come back and vacuum but this the lysol or disinfectant spray of your choice actually stays on it and it doesn't absorb so much when the vacuum vacuums it just like it would the baking soda because baking soda is let's say it's like a dirt for your vacuum it's going to soak suck it all up but the Lysol kind of lingers on your carpet. You see what I'm saying? So they say it actually lingers a little bit longer than like a baking soda. Another tip, because you know, why not? These right here, garbage disposal cleaners. They are cheap. Look, this one at TJ Maxx, three bucks. And let's see, there's 12 in there. Literally, you could put this in there um, once a week. Look, turn on warm water, drop it in there, that's it. That's all you do. Easy. And I don't know about you, but garbage disposals, I don't care how of a clean house you are. A neat freak like myself, OCD like myself, garbage disposals are stanky, okay? <laughs> One pod, you stick it in there with some warm water, let it run. Some of it, you have to let warm water run for a little bit because um, I've had different brands. But that's all you do. You also can use lemons. Obviously, lemon is a good clean smell. You actually cut up the lemon. Throw it in the garbage disposal. Let the garbage disposal run a little bit. And actually, it smells fresh as well. And lemons are, what, maybe 10, 20 cent at most per one lemon. You can buy bags of them, and they last actually a little while. I have a lemon in there now for like a month, and it's still good. <laughs> so, it's a very cheap alternative if you don't want to spend, you know, $3 for a bag of this. And I saved the best one for last because I'm going to go try it for the first time myself. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> My review on the bold lemon and orange, it worked, but it wasn't as pungent as you would think. Honestly, I would just cut the orange up and just leave it on a plate. Like, this didn't seem to work, and I actually simmered it for a good like two hours, and I couldn't really smell anything. You could if you got real close to it, but it's not like you could walk in the room and smell it. So maybe but honestly if you're just gonna do that i would just cut up an orange leave it on the counter <laughs> all right that is it for today i have some more tips actually but i'm going to cut this before this video ends up being 30 minutes long <laughs> and save the rest for another video if you like this video leave me a like comment remember comment and let me know your go-to scent and let me know if you tried any of these and they actually work for you as well so until next time good